Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. Okay, it's been a very long time since I played this game, but I think I know what we're doing. I'm gonna load up this vehicle with some ammo here. Just make sure we got five of each ammo. Got some repair kits there. Okay, let's take a look at our map here just to see what's going on. Okay, I should have another tank somewhere else. I'm just going to do a quick look here. I know I have two tanks, one on each side, one over. Uh, unless that's the tank right there. I got one over here and one over here. I should also have a car on this side too, but maybe I just have the one. So I went out and I cleared out kind of all the biter bases that were within close proximity of the base. And I think I've taken care of them. We might have run into issues with these guys up here. And if that's the case, <clears throat> we got our tank. We'll just rip the tank up here and create some doorways and create some havoc. There's a lot of iron up here, which we might need to, you know, liberate. But, yeah. So what's going on? What's happening? Well, basically, I think we're going to end up wrapping this game it's it's gotten to be quite a long time and with research i'm almost near the end of the research tree i'll take a look at that here see i just got these few things left up here everything else has been researched i know we haven't really explored other aspects of the game like robots so i'll kind of explain that here what i've what's been happening with the robots so let's drive up here I'm gonna watch it so i don't crash so as you'll notice, we're coming upon the robots. And what these robots are doing is there's this mine system here with the, the coal that I've got going down. Let's see if it's all, no, it's not all you know, enhanced. But basically this is an active provider chest. These are being constantly dumped into this chest. And the wonderful robots here well, what they're doing is they're transporting it. So as you can tell, there's these, this orange box and this green box. The, the green box, to my understanding, is the logistics network. Um, and, well, no, sorry, the, I guess there's a logistics network and there's a building radius. I think the green's the building radius and the orange is the, the logistics. So if you notice, I have them connected just barely on the sides of each other and what this does is this causes this to all be connected uh, and I should be taking my car back silly silly me see there's all this copper here we can liberate from the ground so how has everyone been doing huh how's your factorial lives been I don't mind. Hasn't really been too active. <laughs> oh, shoot, I'm getting kind of lag here. It's probably because I'm using fraps to record. Let's see here. So here we have our production. And what this does is... See, it all works down. So this advanced circuit goes into here. And once there's enough of them... Then they'll create another speed module. Speed module two is once those are done, this will rip around and then create another speed module here. I need 50 of these and I think 50 of these guys. So if we go look into our um, our inventory here, and we go to the defense right here. So see, we need 50 speed module three and 50 productivity three. Everything else I've got, that's not an issue. It's just the speed, these modules. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue playing here. And if something exciting comes up, let's do the logistic robot, robot speed. If something exciting comes up here, then so be it. But I'll do a quick tour of the base here so we have an idea. So up here I have my production for belts and all that matter. All that cool stuff like that. As you can tell, it's not really working too fast because of the gears here. Because we're not getting enough material into the system to produce those gears. So not enough uh, iron for some reason. I'm going to actually walk back this way. 
you got some random production here. Here I got a self-contained uh, production system for um, smart chests. And there should only be 200 here. Why is there an extra two? Interesting. So maybe we'd go 198 here. 98. Okay, well, that's fine. That'll get used up with this thing. No big deal. Don't keep bringing me stuff. Why are you bringing? Oh, 198 and 50. Maybe because I turned it up quickly, and so the robots probably came. So, yeah, so there's these robo parts that I've been building. Got a bunch on me. I also got some construction robots. Haven't really been using these guys, but let's release some. Um, so if we ever want to construct stuff, we can use these guys to construct. And let's actually get some more logistic robots, because I like logistics. I think these are the logistic robots. Yes. Let's grab a stack. This will automatically produce more, which is fine. Well, let's release some logistic robots. Robots are pretty cool. They're into the system you go, my pretties. Now... Let's see how many do I have in the system. Yeah, they're stored, but they'll get used when they need to be. Um, I thought there was a wave looking at kind of a status panel. Uh, there we go. Uh, or is that it? Or it doesn't tell me the total robots I have in the system. I can't remember how to do that. This is production. This tells you everything that's being produced and what's being used. And as you can tell, iron is as quickly as it's being produced, more is being consumed. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, down here we have our pipe production. We got our circuit production here. Kind of expanded that into here, which, which worked out quite nicely. Um, uh, these circuits, it's because I need iron, so it's all running down. Um, this should be 200 to pass into here. Let's grab that. Perfect, that's almost 200, so it doesn't take any away. Here we got the science production, and slowly this gets consumed and used up as it goes along. This is where I stuck my alien artifacts, and I'm actually running low on those. So I might have to go and hunt some aliens and kill some biter bases. And if that's the case, and that's what up here we're going to do. We're going to clear out this area probably. Maybe start from here, kind of hit these places, these small areas, go down into here, kind of push out maybe. Maybe create another set of radars. Oh man, that would be a lot of work. That I'm going to do off camera. Because you know the usual creep and attack and whatever for that so yeah um, these are usual columns of production on either side so looks like copper is doing really well I got some uh, some of this stuff to get rid of and then here we have our steel but as quickly as it's coming in see it's being consumed in here by the research because the research takes priority it seems off the, be off the belts I don't know how I would do this differently now, so <laughs> so we don't lose as much. This stuff is all holding because we need more storage chests. So what happens if I do this? I want to request some smart chests, but not 50. I want like 10 of them. Let's see here. Let's see if they bring me any. Because I want to build another one of these storage you know, units here. Okay, cool, cool. So let's go storage chests. One, two, three, four. So we have f five of them. And what these guys will do is they will we'll utilize them. One, two, three. Um, maybe just put them here, three, four. There we go. So these guys, they can use this for anything. I don't care if they use it for... Uh, coal or whatever because the coal solely will get used up and put into this container. I set it to 
OK. And I might have did the math wrong again on this. No, no, that's right. I did it uh, 2, 3. So I think about 2.4K minus 50 because that uh, way there's one empty slot in here, just so I can see that's working. <laughs> it should be full, but actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's make it full so you can see. Because it looks like it's working. So this one, huh. I don't know, man. I need to do some quick math here. So I will be right back. Okay, well, anyways, I I set it to 2400. So that way, you know, 50 times all these slots should hopefully allow them to provide... I'm just seeing what they're doing here. They're probably dropping off all this stuff, going back up to pick up more. Uh, those active providers and journals. I think active provider is what that's called. Maybe it should be passive provider. Maybe. Let's see. Let's, let's take a look at the, the passive providers. Let's see here. Active. Provides content to storage of requesters, construction of player. Contents to re requesters, construction of player. Storages. Uh, okay, so that's how you move stuff into storages. Yeah, fair enough. That'd be okay. Uh, Cuss iron from the logistic. That's correct. And that's storage. Okay, so that's the lowest level up to the highest. Okay. So based on how you put them, will determine how that all happens. That's not too bad. So if I go past a provider, all these chests like that one, and these other chests that I've used for kind of storage purposes I can do a passive provider on it so that way then you know they all have access to it and can move everything around as needed see here as you can tell everything's running down the circuits are running down here not very many of those robots are charging up more robots flying around probably collecting more coal since that's the main kind of focus that they're doing and they're taking more there. Okay, perfect. So with this iron here, I think in a future game, we're going to have to kind of double up what's going on. Yeah, I even have a kind of balancer, load balancer there, which almost isn't necessary now. Which kind of stinks because you think you could use it, but let's see how the balance... Yeah, no, it'll be balanced now until until there's extra st or your stuff being made, and that won't happen because if you look on this belt here, we're not getting enough iron in. I don't think we're gonna have to take a look at this train here. So I'll be right back when the train comes in. Yay, the train is here. Okay, so is it full? Mm, it's not full. So what does that tell me? That tells me the deposits have... Oh, we got research here. What should we do? Let's do... I'm going to let the research rest a bit so that way the, the materials can then get kind of pushed on down the line. So if the circuits aren't being consumed in the research, then that means... The other stuff aren't being consumed, so everything is going down really quickly. As soon as this is done, we'll make the train go. Let's see here. Will it be able to empty everything before it goes to the next stop? Do, do, do. It's kinda, okay, so it's ready. Off to the next stop. Here this stops at this stop for 30 seconds but we're actually going to stop the train when it gets there. I like trains a lot in this game. It's pretty cool to have them. I might have to expand the system a bit though because I don't know it doesn't seem to be functioning as it's supposed to. Okay so this well maybe it is maybe it is maybe it looks like. So let's stop the train here. Stop the train. Let's let it load up. Oops. Oops, back up, back up. There we go. Okay. 
let's see what's going on here. So these will load as expected into the trains, okay. Both copper and iron. Okay, let's check out these guys up here. Okay, we can take out that drill, I think. That one's used up, and that one I think is used up as well. Perfect. Okay, now do we need to put any... Yeah, we'll need to put some more these guys in place. That's fine and dandy. Uh, this one's done too. Yeah, how about up here? Ooh, look at this. Look at this. These deposits are now Kaputsky. How much is this one? 31, so that's almost done. Okay. Take that one. Oh, this is so nice having to just rip this stuff up. Okay, take that out. There's 486 in this guy. Let's put efficiency module in there. Let's put some in here. And those that guy already has it. This guy's almost over. So I'm going to wait for this one. And yeah, I'll be back when that's done. Okay, there we go. Okay, and so yeah, so this will wear down slowly. So, we still need this for now. But yeah, everything's being slowly consumed up, even over here. So, got some more of these. Let's put them in these, these far ones, because they need them first. I almost need to pick up more of these modules when I go, so... Yeah, we'll have to do that. And so this will all build up slowly, okay. Because everything's probably filled up here. And it's going 50-50, copper, iron, and all that fun stuff. This stuff looks like it's processing as it's supposed to be, which is good. Perfect. Let's kind of clean these up here. Take out what we don't need anymore. This one and this one. We've got some modules here that we can place on the belt. Yeah, definitely here. On these outside ones, because... That uh, is important. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure there's a lot of copper that's coming through. I might not need that. Might need more iron. But that's okay. These boxes being filled. Okay, let's go to the next stop here. So let's hop in. Next stop was deposit one. So let's take a look at where this goes. And I think after this, you know, after kind of going around the base and briefly talking about it, uh, yeah, I wish you could skip stops. Okay. So nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. Okay, so even this is slowly almost complete. It's exciting. Uh, we'll let this stuff build up here. There's a lot to, to pick up. So that so this is not the issue. And then it goes back to the main depot. Okay. So there's still kind of iron and all that stuff being produced. Copper we don't really need yet. But we'll have to start thinking about other iron sources, so maybe I'll have to expand out the radar network. Yeah, and then and then go from there. So that means I'll have to kill some biters, and yeah. So maybe I'll record that, maybe not. But, but this is kind of the status of everything. Next time you'll see me should be in the episode where we build the, the defense system. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. And here's a new load of, of iron coming in. <laughs> you know, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in, in the next episode. Bye-bye.